So you can plan and plan and plan, but it doesn't work. Get in. Viewers be advised, this is not the shoot I intended. But do you like colour? <laughs> so, after driving around for ages looking at locations that I had wrecked, none of those locations were available. One, because people had parked in front of them. Two, access was denied. They are public spaces, so I can't actually get too upset about it. But um, it was a bit annoying because obviously we didn't have the light that I thought we were going to have. So this is just very honest review. Did a quick shoot and I decided to change the shoot around. Shoot everything at 24 mil to show you what it was like, um, how much fun you can have with perspective and dynamics and all that. There is no shame in failing a shoot. Just don't. Think that you don't shoot though like try and work around it yes i got a little bit annoyed yes actually i got a lot annoyed um but you know that's one of those things but i eventually came home to my own garden and realized i have shot a lot of content in here during lockdown uh, it's actually a like, cool place to be i mean i'm videoing this in one of the bushes so i put all the settings in so enjoy when using the 24 mil watch out for distortion basically anything that's close to the edge of the frame is going to be enlarged as you can see here with the beard okay this shot is a little bit up the nosy but i kind of like it okay this time shooting landscape. Yes, the beard is enlarged, chucked in the rainbow filter from Omni filters, but I love this one. You can see here how the arm is now enlarged, if you like, from the fact it's near the edge of the frame here. 24 mil is obviously wider, so be careful of your backgrounds. I'm not 100% sold on this image, but it's not the worst I've shot with it. I do kind of like it, but this one I prefer more. It's more storytelling and obviously frame in a frame. And then shooting slightly lower down, we get this image. I really like this one, especially as you can see the sun just glimpsing in there onto his glasses. Obviously the dogs had to get involved. I like this one again, low down. I just like the storytelling element of it. It's a bit funny of a pose. I quite enjoyed this one. This one kind of worked. I think I need to take a step further back so I have cropped off his hand here, but I still think it's a good sh Love this one, especially because my dog's in it. So yeah, love this one. This is about connection with the camera, eyes away or eyes to you. I think eyes to you is more impactful. Just shout out if you're shooting in your beard, be careful not to crop it off because it can make it look weird. I really love with the 24mm where you can put stuff really close to the lens and it makes the body look really far away as demonstrated in these. Love these, particularly this last one. I hope you like, subscribe and enjoy the pictures. I'll see you on the next video. Hopefully it will go better. <laughs>